Hey fellas and welcome to Sky Factory 4. Four. In this episode, we've been extremely busy in between episodes. Are you guys ready for this? Three, a two, and a one. Boom. But first of all, as you guys can see, we've been a bit busy with some new saplings. But in this episode, we're going to do something really, really cool. What we're going to be doing is we're going to set up a wireless internet network in Sky Factory. I'll show you... I'll show you guys how it's done. But first of all, we had a lot of lag on the island, and uh, look at this. It's pretty much gone. The lag is... I, um, I've sorted everything out. <laughs> so this is our new sampling array, and as you may notice, there is a lot of different types of mulch in here. There's, um, black mulch over there, and there's red mulch, and there's blue stuff. I've been really busy in between episodes, so this machine over here... <laughs> Oh crap, there's mobs! Hang on, I, I have a new... I, I am prepared for something later in this episode. We're gonna need some guns. Yep, this is really awesome. <laughs> oh, also, I have an announcement for you guys. We're actually doing a French YouTube channel soon with all of my friends, where we will be playing, like, duels against each other and stuff, and we'll be fighting one another, and it's gonna be insane, so make sure to check it out. Links will be in the description once it's released. Uh, it's an actual amazing project that me and my friends have uh, collaborated to start to do, and it's gonna be insane. But first, let me explain what this machine does. Now this machine is pretty complex, okay? So what it does is um, from our tree farm over there, it takes um, apples and turns it into biofuel. So we craft normal mulch, um, which is over here, I think? Yeah, right here. So over here we create normal mulch and then it goes into the system and comes out into this system where it's mixed with the biofuel which creates yellow mulch. And then this yellow mulch is moved into this auto crafter down here, which goes in with substrate. So substrate is crafted back there. I just realized that all of my sheep are gone. Oh no, they're here. I just, I don't see them for some reason. They are invisible. Okay, everything's normal. <laughs> As you guys can see, this creates yellow mulch. And then over here, it goes into this system which creates ruby mulch uh, from the amber mulch so it creates amber mulch which then creates ruby mulch and then over here it goes into this system which creates red mulch and then uh to create black mulch i just did that manually because i've not automated that yet as it's stupidly difficult oh, okay dude now i have a gun you really don't need to do that I, you scared the crap out of me. They're still spawning. Ah, I need to put some torches on that island. Anyway, so that creates all of the mulch that we're going to require. And for one of the mulches, we actually need to um, make the mobs crap on things yeah. and shove it into a liquid system that takes all the liquid. There's liquid sewage right yeah. there. And then we also needed for some of the machinery, we needed plastic. So I automated that system over here with a unlimited water source here, uh, which are really easy to craft. And then everything is taking uh, all of the juices out of the logs here, all of the sap, and it goes into this system and creates tiny drops of plastic using the latex from the trees. And then it creates plastic over here, which I've turned the system off because otherwise it really lags the server out. Anyways, that's everything done over there. I also automated the experience system over here. So now all of the experience is stored in this, which is bugged out right now. Uh, yeah, there we go. And it's also stored in this container. So we've got pretty much unlimited experience now, which is really Really cool and we've also upgraded this system with better servos so that we now have 218 artifact loot bags 2.24 times 10 to the exponential of five common loot bags that is a very cool thing but this is pretty cool we've got a couple of things planned for this episode that i i'm going to really enjoy in between episodes that is for sure the first thing we're going to need to do which you guys can do as well is we're going to um, let's go over here and craft a thing, shall we? We need these cables, which are storage export cables. Okay, so we need storage export cables, which are easily done. We need storage import cables, which are also very easily done. So now we have we have two stacks of those cables, right? And we need normal storage cables, which we have plenty of anyways. And then we can craft a storage remote. Let me craft one of those. There we go. This storage remote is legitimately overpowered. Let me show you guys what it does. If I shift right click on that, look at that. It just linked to that. Now if I go over here, I can access that storage anywhere. Well, technically, 
anywhere. I can access it from 64 blocks away. So let's just check out how far that actually is. <laughs> okay, so I'm right over here now. So if, let's see if I can access it. I can access it from over here in the machining area. That is so cool. Can I access it over here? Dude, that is so sick. Oh, the amount of times I've had to go back there to get resources to build those machines. It was awful. <laughs> I can still access it. Wait, I that is pretty cool. I can access it really over here. Damn. This is way more than 64 blocks away. Well, that's really cool. So I can also craft things. That removes like a whole point to one of the things I needed in this video. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. So the next thing we're going to need is, uh, boys, fellas, we're going to need to go to the nether. This is going to be awful. And uh, you may have seen I've come prepared with um, quite a few rifles and guns because I am quite terrified of what's actually going to be in the nether. But let's get straight into this. So the first thing we're going to need is some netherrack. So if I take some of these netherracks over here, and I can plop these into a crushing tub, and then I can actually um, turn these into blaze powder. I don't need much blaze powder. I hear a zombie. I don't like that. Um, then I can pick, there we go. Now we have blaze powder. The next thing we're going to need is, um, a cake. Not only cake. We're gonna need a nether cake. So for this, we're gonna need milk. So, um, fuck it. And, um, can you give me your milk? Thank you very much. That will be worthwhile. Okay, so with the milk from that, we can now put the milk up here in the cake recipe. The next thing we're going to need, though, is seeds. We have 15 seeds, so that's that should be all right. And also, we're going to be planting this seed later on. This thing is OP. We're going to grab our diamond hoe, and we're going to go to our farmland over there. Also, our hug and kiss NPC die. I don't quite know how it happened, but I think while I was away, a zombie spawned on him. So, he died. Rip in the chat. Rip in the chat. <laughs> Make sure to put an F in the comment section down below for hug and kiss, because uh, she will be missed. Okay, so the um, thing that we're going to need to do, let's just grab this and plop a bit of water in there. There we go. A couple bits of water. Okay, so let's grab the hoe and our seeds. There we go. Oh, these grow fast. Okay, there we go. We'll put that there. So the cool thing is we can just right click it to get the wheat and that's all we're going to need. So there we go. We've got five wheat. Now we can put that into the cake recipe and we will have the nether cake. That's gonna be, oh God. I now have a nether cake. Everything about that sounds incredibly wrong. Here we go, hopefully the server doesn't crash. Did it crash? Um, well that didn't work. Um, there are two nether cake, obsidian and a cake. I have to craft a normal cake now. This is from a mod called Telepastry, so hopefully this works. There we go. And it seems to be working. Okay, let's go. During my trip to the nether, I was able to grab some blaze rods and I found out that I can actually grab blaze spawners, which might be useful in an upcoming video. There might be a way of auto killing these. If I go to the journey map and make a waypoint right here and call this blaze, this is where blaze is. Okay, now we just plop this right here and we have one of two of these. So we're going to need some comparators, which needs redstone torches. So let's craft a whole bunch of those bad boys. Yep. Uh, we also have enough to craft these so there we go we now have 21 redstone comparators and then we just need nether bricks boom and boom there we go we have two energy transfer nodes so that's really cool gps marker we're gonna need some light blue dye some paper and some sticks which we have so this little platform here that I've prepared for this video, we're gonna be generating power from here. There's a couple of things that we're going to need. So the first thing we're gonna need is a fishing rod. So let's grab one of these. We're then gonna need an iron hoe. We're also gonna need a flint and steel and a few furnaces. And that's pretty much everything we're going to need to craft a simple culinary generator. We're gonna craft a few of these things. We're gonna craft 17 culinary generators. Now, okay, so there we go. We have a whole bunch of these culinary generators here. We can upgrade this system in the future if we want more power. But here's the really cool thing. So you guys see these ender chests that we crafted earlier. This is the whole point we needed to go to the nether. We're gonna go down here into the 
apple section. But first, before we do that, we actually need to determine where the apples are. So this is where the apples are. If we click on this, it will upper this slab, right, with this wrench. So now we know where that generator is by going under the base. And coming up here, we have um, this raised slab. So we know that this is the apple generator. So all I have to do is I'm going to put this right here. Now this is going to take all of the apples out of this system, which, by the way, um, let's let's do nearest first. There we go. So this is now going to fill up with apples at a very high speed. You see that? This ender chest is now full of apples. You can see I've, I've actually color-coded this with purple dye. Well, magenta dye. I'm going to place this one ender chest right here. This ender chest has all of these apples in it. This is going to fill this simple culinary generator with apples and look at how much energy this is creating. We are creating, well, 32,000 RF and all of these generators will contain all of that RF. So watch this, I'm going to link all of these up. There we go. So all of these are now linked up. So these will start all filling up with apples. This one's full. This one's full. All of these are going to fill up. Look at that. That one's now full. So these are all going to fill up and they're going to have a ton of power. So if I go into here, let's grab another thing like a flux duct. There we go. So let's grab these flux ducts. Now, these, we can link these all to the back of these generators. And um, in between episodes, I crafted this energy battery. This energy battery is very simple to craft. So all it takes is other energy batteries. And um, if we have these 1 million RF batteries, look at this. It just takes crystallized mineral, which we have unlimited of in our farm and redstone. So it's literally all it is. So we crafted a 32 million RF capacity battery. So if I put this right here, and now this is going to start filling up. Look at how much power this has already. We already have 270,000 FE. Wireless power nodes. These are the wireless power nodes. So we're going to make these transfer rates to 16,000 a tick. There we go. I'm actually going to make this. Oh, I can't. Okay. But all of these are now getting a ton of power, right? So hang on. Is this working? Let's actually replace the power for all of this system. So let's power up this machine. Um, but you'll soon realize that there isn't really much power because it's um, as soon as I power this on and this on, this is going to start auto crafting those plastic chunks and using the power. We no longer have any power over in that generator, that coal generator over there. So all we have to do now is um, supply this with some power, right? So let me separate a few of these. First one is going to be this GP, the GPS marker for this. And then we're going to also do a GPS marker for this. Those two are the ones that we need. If we put these two in here, there we go. It says Auto Crafter and Resourceful Furnace, right? So that is that. If I actually unlink this, there we go. Because it's not going to work with that, I don't think. If we just link it directly to this, these should be getting power now. There it is. This one's full. And this one is full. <laughs> so now we have a full amount of power in our system. And look at this. These are now being powered completely wirelessly to create our plastic. So if I actually turn this off, because otherwise it's going to lag us out. We've now got more plastic than we did before. But all of these wires, what are these all for? So um, let's just disconnect all of this because these are no longer needed. Like, at all. So all of those wires that we had underneath our base down here can all go. Except for, obviously, this one, because this one is important. But all of these wires can go, because those ender chests replace the item ducts. And those energy transfer nodes replace the leadstone flux ducts. So all of these cables can just go. We never need them anymore. Even in this system up here, which is a really absurd system, and it takes a tremendous amount of power, but 
We've now got power on our base. Okay, that was pretty much it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, make sure to leave like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to see more like videos like this coming up on the channel. Also, when the French channel releases and you do speak French or want to speak French, you can check out the French channel links in the description down below once it's all been released. It's all happening and it's gonna be incredibly fun with in real life challenges amongst friends. So it'll be a lot of fun. And I hope I'll see you all there. On that, I'll see you all in the next video.